MNR. I recently discovered your project and I'm really enjoying it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been wanting to hear and participate in discussions on the topics you all have covered, but from an anarchist perspective, and especially hearing from women. Here is my question. I'm a 29-year-old male anarchist from the US. When it comes to dating, I've lived and visited areas that have anarchist staff. My political philosophical views are a big thing for me and finding someone with similar or interesting views is a big plus for me. But I've never dated an anarchist woman. When I go to anarchist lefty events, shows, online dating, etc., the vast majority of them are at best indifferent to me and usually aren't even interested in even holding a conversation. At best, I'm only able to attract hippie liberal types, which I can appreciate for them being who they are, but they're not as radical and far enough left as I am and would like, or would like, and would like. Any ideas on this? Why this might be the case? I'm aware that ever, even women, oh sorry, I'm aware that every woman isn't going to be interested in me, but I'd say that most people would say that I'm cute, so I don't think it's a matter of them not finding me attractive. I don't look or dress like an anarcho-punk type, so with tattoos, piercing, piercings, black leather, everything, so that could be a factor. I doubt people could even guess any of my worldviews based on my appearance. Anyways, thanks for your project and keep up the awesome work. So many feelings here. So I'm just gonna check if the audience wants. Uh, yeah, it's kind of yeah. You, I mean, what she said that last sentence that you just like threw in there, that Which the one? thing, the thing is like I don't look or dress like an anarcho punk type with tattoos, piercings, black leather, and everything. So that could be a factor. That is the factor. That is the factor, and that's fucking gross. Find me. I don't like those types either. Wow, you have a completely different take on this to me. Oh. <laughs> wow. Interesting. <laughs> No, I guess that is good. I think you come across rather unbearably arrogant. Oh my god, I have so much sympathy with this person. Like, the anarcho women, they won't date me because I don't have tattoos. The hippies yes! will date me, but they're not good enough for me. Oh, come Having on. Having someone who has the same political philosophy as me is so important. Sure, look, we have them. You know what? Like I've never fucking read Kropotkin. Look, we have done the whole, like, should lefties only date lefties uh, video, and we don't think that at all, for sure. And, like, um, definitely there is a whole thing of, like, people, like, being like, oh, I want to meet someone as radical as me or as I am. And we've established that actually educating someone towards far-left opinions is actually really, really fun, and yeah. you should be interested in doing that. And I don't know why you would just straight away meet someone that has your political opinions. But I can so see yeah, this. I came across like too strong. I, like, I, I, because you came across so strongly positive, <laughs> I felt like I had to be just as strongly <laughs> negative. <laughs> it's more, I'm just, I'm curious. Okay, you go. No, no, no. Like, I basically have the political opinions that I have, anarcho-syndicalist and that, and yet I hate the scene. I hate the aesthetics around it. I just, I mean, a lot of the time I definitely still look like a punk and act like a punk I was going to say, you have stuff. more of the aesthetic than I do, I would say. Yeah, 100%. And but also, I mean, you're I've just more into like... tattoos and... <laughs> but apart from that. No, but I've, but yeah, also, I've just been kind of like... Yeah, yeah, I've just been, I suppose, what's the word? Um, brought up in that. So that's mm. all I know. But I want to escape from that. And I see those 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 spaces where... I mean, yeah, there have been, there, there've been boys that I thought everything fits so well, but they're like, you know, you don't have dreadlocks and tattoos, so I'm kind of not into you, that sort of thing. <laughs> and so it's just, it's such a shame. So it seems to me like that's kind of that sort of thing. I mean, basically, they, I think they want someone like that, but they can't get them because they're not like them. I'm wondering, though. So he says... The vast majority of them are at best indifferent to me and usually aren't even interested in holding a conversation. I'm also curious about how you approach people. Well, yeah, sure. Like, they're like, what do I mean is there are several steps of this, like, sure, right? Sure, sure, sure. Like, I don't believe that every, if you're as nice and good looking as you say you are, <laughs> also, cool. like, congrats on the self esteem, seriously, actually. Yes. Like, I know I just, like, mocked you, but actually, it's really, like, nice to have someone who has, like, good opinion of themselves. No, but they're not like, oh, my fucking hottie. They go like, I'm cute, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what I mean. Like, but yeah. congratulations on not shitting on yourself because, yes. you know, it's really hard not to shit on yourself sometimes. Yeah. But like, yeah, like, how are you approaching people? Are you launching straight into anarchist conversation? But are Rowan, you... we've been in those spaces. Again, like, I'm just thinking, you know, here in London, Berlin, and I bet US as well, you know, where everyone is the anarcho with, like, anarcho symbols all over the shop. And, you know, someone walks in that is has a bit more, like, normie aesthetics or whatnot, and everyone just looks at them condescendingly. God forbid you're wearing, ca like, cashmere from a car boot sale or fucking, or, I don't know, like, light brown jeans or whatever, and, like, a 
neutral t-shirt like everyone just looks at you like you're a fucking idiot yeah well say take my partner for example well yeah but i mean quintessential not anarchist aesthetic yeah but he's also stuck in that place okay when i say where well, i mean whatever yeah okay like big an anarchist hotspot yeah yeah like the only one being there and you've been fighting like to change that aesthetic too and we both have been very much saying how mm. it's not like that i guess so i guess what confuses me is like as an anarchist woman who hangs out in their spaces and has a lot of um insecurities of not looking anarchist enough i would find it so refreshing and nice to see a dude yes who isn't and that's why i'm finding it interesting which anarchist women you're trying it on with or whatever like i wouldn't like I wouldn't go straight up to a cross street and start flirting. I would be scared that they would judge me. Yeah, but also, like, I wonder, what, do you straight away go, like, hey, are you an anarchist then? But this is what I mean with yeah, how he's yeah, approaching yeah, them. Yeah. That's where that was coming That's from. Like, agreed, yeah. I are get you it. launching into a discussion of Bakunin's great ideas? Or are you saying, hey, what do you think of the band? Or, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, not, like, also, if you're in an anarchist space, you don't need to prove your credentials. Like, everyone there. You don't what? You don't have to prove your credentials. Yes, you. No, yes, straight you away. Because you know what I've oh, discovered since on. AAA? Mm-hmm. is how many people in anarchist spaces are like, I watch your show. Because it turns out everyone secretly wants to talk about relationships. Like, remember at the party we went to two weeks ago where we formed a posse around our friend and like a bunch of other people got in on that too and start- and found it really funny from different sides of the anarchist scenes because everyone actually secretly is a little like Yeah, normal. and I wore makeup and, on, and a white shirt in that party and felt like a fucking black sheep. But you got a compliment. Like, what I mean is how much of it is internal? It's how much of it is internal and how much of it is external. Because I always feel judged, but I don't know if I actually am judged. We are judged, Rowan. We are 100% judged all the time. We are judged for this project. We are judged for the fact that we're wearing makeup. We're judged right now for the setup. We, it, of course we are. And I definitely 100% see how an anarchist faces. If you don't present yourself in a particular aesthetic, you are not seen in, you know, you, you, are, you are kind of looked down upon. But that's like, that again comes back to me asking what which women he's trying to engage with. Because I wouldn't try and engage with someone um, when, if I'm not feeling confident, like who looks very subcultural, shall we say. I would talk to someone who looks kind of like me. Do you know what I mean? Like, and, I, and that's not a good thing. That is not a good thing. We should be like breaking barriers between the subcultures and stuff. But like, anarchist women are not, you know, a lump. How do you know which women in these spaces are anarchist, which ones aren't? How, like, I, I just, I want to know what your strategies are, if you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I guess we come with this, with huge projections of our own experiences mm. and such. But, so, I sort of, I see your struggles, what I'm saying. But I also, v- very keen, and please rewatch the shit on Lefty's only the, the Lefty's video, because I think that states very strongly our view that it's actually a lot of the time a lot more exciting to be dating someone who doesn't necessarily already have your political opinions but that's some, someone that you can push and they can introduce you something you know they can introduce something else to you that you don't know about as well and also rewatch our videos on how to like flirt and talk to people in clubs because we were told told off if you, if you like for being quite normative in those videos since we're supposed to be anarchists but it turns out we're two anarchist women and the way in which we like to be hit on or whatever is apparently somewhat normative and not so anarcho as thou. So again, like, yeah, like being more, being less anarchist or not less anarchist, but being what is actually seen as like normal in an anarchist space is actually sometimes more appreciated than being seen as really anarchist in an anarchist space, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Also, I I wonder, I wonder, if there's a way you can, you know, find your space in 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 those um, kind of, or find your space in those spaces by being, again, who you are, but really, really putting it on a pedestal, you know, taking the piss out of everyone and how like punky they are, and how, how actually it, taking the piss out how normie you are as well, you know, how different you are. We do that these days. Yeah, like, like oh well. shit, I didn't get the memo about the all black. Literally. Literally. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, take the mick out of that. I love the time they love hearing that, like, because it just puts mm. them to their place a lot. Of, I don't know. Yeah, and also because there are people who dress with the aesthetic are also aware that they're in costume. Yeah. Like, it's they pretend they're not, but they are. 100%. Like, and the good ones will be self reflective and be able to laugh at that the same way they, you can laugh at yourself for looking normie or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and just, just be funny. Yeah, I mean, I remember like one, one, one of my exes, oh, I don't know how to t- sort of explain to you who now, whatever. Um, but yeah, he just took it on stride, you know, like it, it, it was like, yeah, like I'm not, the, I'm not all pats and like, 
mm. you know, piercings or whatnot. And he would just like almost on purpose wear really normal clothes. So he would be annoyed where I'd be like a bit like, you know, I don't know, maybe crop those shorts or whatever. <laughs> you know? It's like, no, fuck it. Like, yeah. let those punks be annoyed and it's jokes. You know? And you know what? At the end of the day, if you all get arrested, you're going to be the one who's most likely to be able to get away. Really? I mean, I, I no, that person the... was the arrested more than anyone yeah, else. I, know, so. I knew which one you meant, but that's also because that person was more confrontational than most, shall we say. So. But like, I've had times when I've read police um, reports of incidents where it describes two very anarcho looking people in quite detail, and then it says, and a woman. Because there was nothing about me that was memorable to those cops, and I'm still not arrested. <laughs> I hope they're not watching. <laughs> so there's that as well. You can be like, actually, I'm just trying to be undercover, pricks. Yeah. <laughs> It's a political project. Yeah, the political look. project. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we challenge that, you know, for sure. But again, um, I think as long as you come across as like, you know, empathetic, funny, and understanding how, you know, how fluid these things are as well, you know, with these people, they change their uniform every couple of years, you know. They probably used to be like a festival Instagram girl that then turned a punk, you know, for a couple of years to annoy her parents or whatnot. And then... <laughs> yeah, this was another hypothetical person. <laughs> And you know, we'll turn very cute and feminine very soon. <laughs> Thanks. And the one, the one last thing I will say is, you said that you never dated anarchist women as if anarchist women are a thing you want to try, and that slightly rubs me up the wrong way. Yeah, it's a bit fetishistic, Like, right? yeah, they're not like a flavor of woman. No. Like, no. You know, maybe we think what it is about anarchist women that you find so appealing. Yes, because there's that whole thing that we also spoken about about like the strong anarchist woman that like boys mm. like just. You know what? I never went to a Java. I'm fucking sorry. I know. Like, I think that discredits us. I don't yeah. think we're attractive we anymore. We should have a gun in the background. There we go. Then we we would be sexy. Mm. So yeah. Also, like maybe interrogate what it is about. Like, what do you actually want in a partner? Because like I can date someone who's read. I can, I really have a beef with Kropotkin, but I can date someone who's read Kropotkin or I can date someone that's like a good communicator and I can have like a laugh with, preferably both, I guess. But that's more important to me, to be honest. Yeah. 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 So don't be fetishistic like that. Yeah. Like, I mean. Yeah. Mm. Maybe that's what I originally was twitchier because no, I I've toned down in my, in my anger. <laughs> yeah, I hope you didn't turn it off the second I started having well, a go. Well, I toned down my sympathy, I guess. <laughs> so <laughs> so we were, we've, we're now a plateau. Yeah. Uh, but I mean... Don't lose your, um, don't lose your, I guess, what's the word, um, enthusiasm. I hope you find the one, but the, the one is not necessarily the image that you have in your head, the sort of like r riot girl or whatever, yeah. like, uh, a lot tan of tan 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 girl, tan yeah. girl. Oh. A lot of anarchists don't look like anarchists. Yeah, and or they look like anarchists, but, but have not. their <laughs> shittiest fucking politics. Yeah, exactly. This is our point. Yeah. So. Well, good luck. Good luck. <laughs>